Welcome back to the Homestead NBA Studios. I'm, of course, Justin Pooney, joined with Noor Zainab. Yeah, I'm actually hosting today. The inmates are running the asylum that's, today in the Homestead NBA Studio. Chill. It's not that serious. It's just you get the reins today, Justin, okay? Don't get ahead of yourself. <laughs> Chill out. Somebody's clearly unhinged today. Like the Toronto I'm Raptors unhinged. and their fans, which makes perfect sense because the Toronto Raptors teased all you Raptors fans last night, me as well, made me watch the game and then thought the game was over and then they end up tying it and going to overtime and losing anyway. So we're not going to talk about the game because we did that all last night. Let's have some fun today because, you know, now that I'm in charge, I'm the director of fun. We're going to have some fun on the show today. So, Noor, I have a whole bunch of trades because the trade deadline is around the corner and the Raptors are, let's face it, it's time for them to sell off some assets. So I would have a bunch of trades listed for you and I want to hear your opinion, okay? You ready? My opinion? Yes. Wow, okay. We value your wow. opinion here on the Homestead NBA show. We are an all-inclusive show today. Wow, now, thank you for including women. I really appreciate that. As women, no, as, the, as the leader of women, I really appreciate that, Justin. I'm going to continue. Absolutely. Now, first trade. Gary Trent Jr. to the Washington Wizards mm -hmm. for Kyle Kuzma. And the Raptors would also have to trade a first-round pick swap with the Washington Wizards. So basically, it would be a pick swap and then Gary Trent Jr. for Kyle Kuzma. I like it because I think Kyle Kuzma is way more consistent offensively than Gary Trent's going to be. And we saw last year, like ever since he's left the Lakers, his surgeons when it comes to his offensive game his shooting and everything has been like he's playing i know the lakers wish they kept him that's how well he's playing right now come on dude they need the I shooting need to kuzma the come on right bro now. oh chill out they needed kuzma they need that shooting but i for me it's it's like um as great as he would be for us offensively and obviously we need that because we do have gary trent and fred van Lee, as we've seen that go through shooting slums but the more dire need right now is someone who's going to be tall in the pain. And I just, like, I like the look of it, but I just don't know if it really fixes us, if that makes yeah, sense. Yeah, I, I don't agree with that. I think if you add a guy like Kyle Kuzma, it's a big name, right? But is it conducive to winning? I think you're still staying in the same position, even with, yeah. like, if you just swap out, for example, Gary Trent for Kyle Kuzma, you're in the same That's position. That's exactly what right? that is, yeah. Um, I, I will say, like, he's definitely more consistent when it comes to his offense. And that's a big part, right? Mm -hmm. Because you need that offensive production, especially when you don't have that many pieces that can play that offense and you rely so much on defense. But at the same time, it's just like, yeah, you might get, you know, three extra three-pointers that night, but are you still protecting the paint? And we're not doing that. So okay, and also defense is not really Kyle Kuzma's strong suit. Anyway. We yeah, so, yeah. I don't know how he fits up with Nick you Nurse's system. You could fix that. Oh, um, that's true. What if Nick Nurse is like you're coming off the I'm bench? Saying, Kuz that's what I'm saying. Now, this whole idea, I kind of thought about it, and I would never do it, but I wanted to get your opinion on it. I would Red never Van do it. Red and Kem Birch for D'Angelo Russell. Now, context: Fred Van Vliet tweeted out a. Uh, cryptic s tweet about betting on himself d'angelo russell retweeted it then on fall the timberwolves there's all sorts of drama going on through the social media channel right, tmz course, you're keeping it, tabs on people following and following oh it's my job to keep tabs men love drama on. now would you do that basically uh, a dilo for fvv swap see if you if this was like brandon ingram I'd be like, yeah, because but it's not, it's the that's what I'm Russell. saying, though. Like, but they're they're that same type of player. But D'Angelo Russell, we haven't seen him be that guy. Like, if you look at the state of the, 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 the Timberwolves right now, he should be feasting in terms of spacing, in terms of opening up those guys with Ant, with Gobert, with Cat on there. And they have been struggling. It's obviously not entirely on D'Angelo Russell, but I just don't think that um, I, I don't trust his offense. And I don't trust his facilitating. Mm -hmm. And that's not going to help you get anywhere. Because right now, again, like offense, we, we know this, like super important. But there's two flaws that the Raptors are missing in, that, that, that they're in dire need for. That's a center. We know mm -hmm. we talk about this constantly. And it's also a point guard, like a real point guard. Not a point guard that shoots first, a point guard that passes first. And DeAndre Russell's not He's that. He's not that He's guy. He's a shoot first point exactly. guard. Exactly. Exactly. Um, this one right here, I know will get my man Jelani Goodwood Reach all fired up. Shout out to Jelani, you are in New York. So if you're watching this, Jelani, this one is dedicated to you. Shout OG, out, Jelani. OG Ananobi, Gary Trent for Zach Levine. That would shake up a whole lot of things. That'll be a blockbuster deal. Chicago, Toronto, they're kind of they'll get the Raptors a superstar they need. The Bulls will get some nice depth, right? So you're giving up Gary Trent and Gary OG. Trent 
and OG for Zach Levine. I like it in terms of giving Pascal some help. I think that's like it's just that's another guy who can create his own shot, right? Mm. And that's something He's that an you need. It, yeah. Okay, thanks, Justin. That's obviously something that you need next to Pascal. We said that too. We were like, we know Pascal's amazing, but Pascal can do it on his own. Every great has a second or a third or a first too. You know, like they need someone like that. Levine would get the ball, I think. But at the same time, it's just like it's great. But giving up OG means that. And getting living in the process means you're now giving up defense. And I don't know. I I think OG is, if I were to give up OG for anyone, it would be to throw him in in a trade that gets you a star. So is Zach, or, is Zach Levine not a star? No, like, but like, like you know, like, Zach Levine's a star, but I mean, you also need someone who's going to be, like, he needs to be he's so good. He's a bucket getter. He's a guy that can yeah, put the ball in the Yeah, but he's bucket. also, he's not like the guy that look at the state of the Bulls, all right? I mean, but that's because they're missing Lonzo and they don't, they don't have that true point guard that they need. Yeah, but if you, exactly, but if you let your Raptors go, you can get Gary Trent go and OG go, you lose that depth in there too. It's the same thing as the Bulls being injured right now. So if you get, let's say, like a top 10 caliber, caliber player and you're going to throw OG in that kind of thing, I know. No, I'm just saying that's that's my thing. I'm like, if you throw OG in that, that makes sense. Or if you use OG to get more defense back, uh-huh. that makes sense. Okay. But to give up defense to get shooting, which is great, we need that. We do need shooting. We need again, and we need another guy for sure. But you also need defense, and we've seen that with this team. And OG is your best defender on the squad. So I, uh, we're gonna say no. I'm taking Zach Levine. Zach Levine is exactly what the Raptors need—a shot creator. A guy who can put the ball in the you bucket. At the end of games when you need dude. a bucket, Zach Levine will put the ball in the bucket. Now, this trade right here. It's not here, that great. Like, he's great, okay, but he's... relax. This, he's is, this trade right here that I came up with would <laughs> shake up the entire NBA. Watch out, well, Justin Smith NBA. checking out the trade machine. Bob Myers, Pat Riley, Masai Ujiri, open up your ears and listen to this. Oh no, my God. the Golden State Warriors acquire Pascal Siakam, mm-hmm. Chris Boucher. The Miami Heat acquire... Draymond Green, Otto Porter, and the Toronto Raptors acquire Jonathan Kaminga, James Wiseman, three first-round picks, three second-round picks, Caleb Martin, and Dwayne Dedman. That trade right there would shake up the entire landscape of the NBA. I would do it right now, that trade. Wait, so you're sending Siakam and who to Siakam Warriors? Siakam and Boucher to the Warriors. Right? And you're getting Kaminga, Wiseman. Kaminga, Wiseman, three first-round picks, three second-round picks, Caleb Martin, Dwayne Dedman, which would just be a salary dump, right? That right there, you have all those picks, all those assets. You just made the Warriors back-to-back champions too. Well, I'm just saying that that could be a that could be you know something that happens out of it. But what I'm, I'm talking about. Well, that, yeah, that that to me means that to me means that you are. You're punting. You're, the no, yeah, you're yeah. developing guys. Like you're gonna go younger now. And, but you get the center you need but, in James Wiseman. And then at the same time, though, at the same time, though, you are now giving away your main guy to the Warriors, making them stronger for now and getting them to contend. So. I got you stumped on that uh, one. <laughs> I like that, but I think I, I'm going to, I would come around to it more once I see this team at the end of this home stretch. Like, I think if they continue to lose this home stretch, and you look at Siakam putting up numbers, right. and you want him to do well, because again, he's 29 this year, right? So if you see him continue to do well, and you're like, shit, he's doing well, but this team's losing, this guy's got to go somewhere and compete and get a championship again. So that could be his way to contend. It could be our way to get younger, uh, surround Scotty with younger guys as well, with Kaminga, um, with Wiseman, everybody. And then... You also go younger in those in those uh, picks. But the, the other thing about those picks is you could t- retrade those. Yeah, picks, you could retrade those. Right, picks and then too, you yeah. could accelerate <gasps> the rebuild. You could use those picks for OKC. You could. Stan Preston's gonna foam at the mouth I, looking I, at I her picks. I don't think I don't think Shea's gonna go anywhere. But not well, not to be just Shea. Well, actually, you I, could use the those way picks. I, the to way throw. I see, the way I see Shea it, she might is, be too old for the timeline. No, now. no, no. What I'm saying, but what I'm saying is, you could use those picks to acquire. a not just one player, but multiple level all star players with that too, right? Because you could still trade Gary Trent, you could still trade that's what I'm Fred saying, Van yeah, you could package all that stuff and get even more stuff and get even better and completely revamp your entire roster. So, you, that's putting the stick of dynamite in the Toronto Raptors. That's so, what you're saying is with that, with that train of thought, the core, the people in the core you'd be keeping are Scotty Barnes and OG Anunoby. 
I would trade OG too. I, I would keep just Scotty. Rip that thing all the way down. And you, I've said that a number of times to you. Put a stick of dynamite in the middle of that dressing room. <laughs> blow it up. And just keep Scotty Barnes. I don't know. Do you have any trades for me? I see you have a cue card of trade. I do. Um... But nothing can top the one I just did right there, though. No, because it does. The thing is, like, okay, chill out. I I gave myself five minutes to look this over because it gives you it gives you the option that you're looking for where everybody's happy. Like that's what you're looking at, right? And obviously, you don't want to give away your main piece so that another team can go and contend and become a championship again. But at the same time, it's just like Siakam is getting to that age and he's in his prime right now. Not to say he's not going to get better because we've seen those leads over and over again. Especially watching him play now, it's just like he's never played like this. Like this is best year, right? In terms mm -hmm. of offense. Best year completely in, in playmaking come on as the guy on the team last alone, year he had a pretty good year too he right? did but the way that he's carrying and now is way year. different one last year too yeah but this was this this year is just like all right something all else right. is off in that locker room but yeah i like that if uh if we look at the end of this home stretch we decipher that we didn't win anything and now at this point like there's you can't make up this season you're probably going to lose next season as well if you keep the same squat happening here mm -hmm. and the only way to move forward is to go younger and also lose like that also means like if you give up siakam you're and you get those guys you're probably going to be losing a couple games at that point right so you can put yourself in the in the lottery position as well so you can go even younger that way and go get more talent Oh, shit, I'm kind of talking myself into it. That's what I do, guys. I talk people Shut into the <laughs> coming into reality. That is why I am hosting this show today. Because Shut I'm up. convincing Miss Raptors Twitter that I it's just, time to I trade just, I just Pascal said, okay, Siakam. you know what? If you want to do a that trade, is time we have you for today do a trade, on do Homestand it. Sports. Keep it locked for all things Toronto sports. We'll be back tomorrow.